How many people here like electric school buses? As students have returned to school and are getting settled in the new year, we've come together to talk about electric school buses. We are here to celebrate Adams 14 School District being awarded funding for 14 new electric school buses. And we're here to talk about the state of electric school buses in Colorado today and what we've learned from a report released today by COPERG. So what is the state of electric school buses? Well, we're seeing a growing number of electric school buses in a growing number of school districts, which means fewer children are having to breathe harmful pollutants when they're going to school, when they're going to a practice, or when they're getting to a field trip. That is good news for Colorado, and that's good news for the whole country. Our report looks at all 50 states and found that Colorado, we're in the middle of the pack when it comes to how many electric school buses we have. As of the early summer, we were 23rd and had 144 electric school buses committed to the state of Colorado. That doesn't count the new announcement that we heard today about Adams 14 and those 14 new electric school buses. We are also middle of the pack when it comes to the amount of investments we're making to make that electric school bus transition. So we are 19th in the country when it comes to how much state and federal funding are being invested in that electric school bus conversion. We need to do better. We need to continue to find new ways to invest and accelerate this transition so that every single school bus is 100% electric. Initiatives like electric school buses are in line with Adams County's climate goals. Reducing emissions from buses, including by investing in buses like the one you'll see today with zero tailpipe emissions, has an overall positive impact on our community's air quality and overall climate future. That future is for our children. Without the state and especially federal funding to kick this program into high gear, none of us would be getting on the bus today. Thank you to our federal and state legislators who helped make these investments happen and who are really plugging into what our communities need.